السلام عليكم ورحمة الله دلوقتي معايا اتنين كونتاك مرسيدس ميتين واتناشر هي العربية نفسها اي تلتمية الكونتاك اللي هو الجديد هلو اول نو ام هافينج ذيس تو اي اي اس فور دبليو تو هندرد تولف مرسيدس اي كلاس اي ثري هندرد ذيس وان از ذا اوريجينال اي اي اس وذ اتس وركينج كي Okay, I will turn the light on. This one is the original one. That one is the new one, which is AKL without a working key. So the first thing I will do is to read that EIS data with its password, then save it and write to that one. For that type of EIS, you see two connectors are close to each other, so that the new type, the old one, one connector here and two far connector is there with two pins. So I will. So here I'm connecting CGDI MB with the simulation key and also the platform. I will open CGDI MB software. I will go to wiring. As you see here, that one is the old one. Two connectors, one here and two pins far. Okay, so will be not that one. Go here to. 12 new okay that one that I'm dealing with right now okay here is a pen out as you see here W204 207 212 also that one so I will connect that one here notice the power is Pin number two from below, as like this, and this one will go here. But I noticed something. Notice here, 212. This one here is having the same pin out, yellow, green, and black on the upper left. Is like that one. But I think this connector for the plastic here, you can't push it down. Okay, you, you is for the old one, I think. So I will remove that white. I will remove that white cover and use the same connector. Uh, it's very hard to do this one handed so wait for a second Here I just removed the white plastic for the connector and we'll let it here then connect that and here after removing that cover make sure that you do not connect it wrong the black wire on the top left side I push it here, okay, and the yellow is on the bottom, like that. So for that EIS I need to go 
read that's data and password so I will connect 12 volts power and also air everything is connected OBD and the wiring here also CGDR so I will go to close the DIS and uh, I think this key is a VE key so I will go to read write read yes it's a VE key so I can read uh, the password read VE key password that's the working key for the EIS copy is ending with, uh, ending with E1 copy paste so now that the original EIS information so save test we'll make a folder as 212 U E I S type that one and here is original then save save file successfully now I will take I will switch power off We'll take these connectors and connect to the new one to renew it, then write the original data back to that one. Okay. Wait, I will come back again. And now I just removed that one, which is the original one. And it's working keys there. This one, which is connected, is the new one. Well, connect power so that one is powered and <clears throat> I will be the yes and um, compute password copy key without okay collect um, We'll let it as normal mode. Okay. Hey, Now the password, the simulator key is inserted. سواني سواني قول له سواني امم will be good will not take too much time as i think Notice the LED there is on. Everything connected here. So I think this will take maybe about five minutes notice that I am here I will wait for some time and come back again 
and now everything as it and after about maybe uh, seven or eight minutes I reached 97 percent 98 99 then I will go here and make a folder you donor then save the collected data there now I need to upload Here everything as it connected. Upload data successfully, then query. This number now will be zero. <clears throat> password completing success. Copy. Then go to EIS. The password is here. Now I will save that EIS data, which is full data with password. Save. Save file successfully. Here I will need I need to renew that EIS. So I have to compute the erase password. So here I click on get and will also take <coughs> the simulation key out. Because when I will wipe the AIS then I would need to insert it again here I'm getting it is password calculated successfully so you need here to wipe the AIS okay simulation key is here insert what is the ID then it is AIS success. So we'll take the simulation key out and read the AIS to make sure that it's already wiped, not personalized nor activated. So you need to load the original APROM. Okay, then write AIS data. We'll say okay. Now we'll ask me to insert. Inserted. Write AIS data success. So now I will read AIS data again. Okay, here the bell still needs to be written, so I will um, no test uh, original. Here I will click on allow modification. WDD. Okay, zero five four five four five L zero zero L zero zero.
Okay, then right. Okay, right to success. So now I will read areas. Now then, it's written correctly, but still not activated. Now I will take the simulation key out, and with that working key, I will insert it to activate the EIS. Key inserted. Notice here. The key has been inserted. If I come back here, this one should be activated and have a working key there. DDS. Okay. Now is activated with a working key. We'll take the key out. Notice the key has been pulled out. If I insert it again, the key has been inserted. If I try to turn, ACC has been opened. Another one, on has been opened. We can start. Okay. Well, Take that key out. Okay, now that's it. Thanks for watching.